Hey guys, I'm being well today, doing my Super Rugby Dream Team for round 7 in New Zealand and round 4 in Australia. So, when deciding these sides, I base it off two things. One, their statistics over the game, and two, their influence. So, at number one, I selected Joe Moody from the Crusaders. I thought, it, I thought he had a solid game, really. You know, he just did his job. He had six runs, six run meters, nine out of ten tackles, one defender beat in, and he had one offload. So yeah, no, he did his job and was pretty solid within that scrum as well. Now, that was one of the key things that the Crusaders, like, to help them, you know, stay within that game and, you know, get that try in the late, in the last few minutes. And it just wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough. But yeah, anyway, at number two, I saw Asop Amor from the Hurricanes. He was very impressive. I think that was probably the most impressive performance I've seen so far from him. You know, he had five runs, 16 run meters, eight out of 11 tackles, one turnover, and he had one line break. So yeah, he was definitely all over the place, and he for sure influenced that game. You know, definitely with his line break, he, I think he managed to go past, like, it took three defenders to, like, you know, just take him down within that. So yeah, yeah, he's a force to be reckoned with. So, moving on to number three, I started Palm Fomuasi from the Rebels. I was very impressed by him. I, to be honest, I'd never actually heard of him before, but he's definitely someone to look out for, like, for future games, for sure. I mean, he had six runs, 32 run meters, four to four tackles, but the big stat was seven defenders beat him. Seven defenders beat him. That's crazy. Yeah, well, fair play to him. He definitely influenced, influenced that game, and, yeah, I definitely saw him a few times in that game. Just, yeah, for sure. Anyway, moving on to number four. I've said to Patrick Tupoloto from the Blues. You know, he had a typical performance, really. It's kind of what you expect from him. You know, he had one try, seven runs, 15 run meters, six out of seven tackles, and he won two lineouts. So, yeah, he definitely helped the Blues, you know, narrowly win that game. And within those last few minutes, he was definitely one of those players that really helped and secure, you know, the ball within the last few minutes. And then, you know, eventually they kicked it out and won. But, yeah, he was, yeah, he was very impressive. Uh, just a typical performance, really, from him. So, moving on to number five, I selected Matt Phillip from the Rebels. He had a solid game overall. He had 16 runs, 21 run meters, 6 out of 6 tackles, and he had 2 defenders so he didn't. And, yeah, he just helped the Rebels really just maintain their four-pack, you know, dominantly within, within that match against the, who was it, the War Tars. And, yeah, man, he was, he was good. He just controlled the game, really, within his position. So, moving on to number six, I selected Lachlan Boucher from the Chiefs. Even though their team didn't win, I thought out of all the players within the Chiefs, you know, he he was pretty impressive, I'd say. He didn't have his as good as a game, I thought, as last week, but he did have one try, four runs, two run meters, thirteen out of fifteen tackles, and he won three lineouts. So yeah. He was definitely within that game for sure. And he he was one of the Chiefs main players, like, you know, you could pick out within that game. With the likes of him and, you know, another player I'll I'll get on to, but yeah, no, he was definitely all over the place and just, you know, he's just continuing to show that he's able to be, you know, consistent and, you know, hopefully that, you know, that helps him with, you know, in the selection for the All Blacks, I think, in later in a month, in two months' time, I think. So, yeah. But, yeah, impressive, impressive performance, really, from him. So, moving on to number seven, I've selected Dupacy Karifi from the Hurricanes. Yeah, he was one of the standout players, I would say, within that hurricane side you know he definitely helped them within that four pack he had four runs 18 run meters 16 out of 21 tackles one line break one offload and he won one line out so yeah he is first of all everywhere around that field he was definitely crucial within that defense you know you know for the later stages of that game you know they were just def hurricanes were just defending for their life really you know trying to get that win which they eventually did get which i was very happy about <laughs> but yeah, no, he's just one of those players that really stood out. I mean, I, I was looking at the likes of uh, Dalton Pepperly as well, but I just thought that, you know, Dupacy Karifi was more all-rounded than his stats, particularly with his defensive stacks of 16 out of 21 tackles. So, moving on to number eight, last of the four-pack, I've said to uh, Pete Sam from the Brumbies. You know, he was one of those players which, if you look at his stats, like I'll read them out right now, you know, nine runs, 44 run meters, six out of seven tackles, one defender beat in, one line break, two offloads, and he won two lineouts. So yeah, it's very impressive stats. But what it doesn't show here is that he actually was the key, you know, player in starting two of Brumby's, you know, two two of Brumby's two tries. So yeah, he yeah, he was good. Yeah, he was yeah, he was very impressive and you know, just all around it, it just shows that why he's you know, when he left the Crusaders to join, 
with Brogdon is just how how good he is really and just how how much of an impact he can make with the Mets side. So, we on to the backs. I sat down at number nine, Ryan Lawrence, you know, from the Rebels. I thought he was pretty impressive. There wasn't really a standout scrum out fights particularly. I mean, I could have selected TJ if I wanted to, but I thought Ryan was just better. You know, he did have one try, nine runs, 28 run meters, two out of two tackles, and 87 passes. So, yeah, he was definitely all over the place and, yeah, definitely helped the Rebels win that game early on and, you know, secure it later on. So, I mean, on to number 10. I've said to the main man, you could say, within that Blues win, Bowden Bear. You know, he was very impressive. You know, he's going to, he, he, like I said in the, the preview, he's always got criticism for his, you know, his form within that 15 role. But, man, in his 10 role, it just shows that why he's one of the best 10s in the world. He, he still is. I mean, he had 12 ones, 46 run meters, three out of three tackles. He had two defenders speeded, two line breaks, three offloads. And he, had, he kicked free conversions. So, yeah, he, he definitely was crucial to that, you know, in Blues winning that game. And it just shows that, you know, he, he still has it. Like, he, he received so much criticism from that game against the Crusaders. And you could say maybe against the Hurricanes as well. But, man, he, he, still, he still has it. It's just, yeah, he's just a heavily criticized player. And, yeah, I mean, he is two-time player of the year. So it's kind of a given, really, that you're going to criticize him within his, yeah, anyway. But yeah, he was very impressive and definitely deserves, deserves to be within this side. So, we on to number 11. One of the nominees, you could say, that I, I was thinking about for MVP of the week. Tom Wright from the Brumbies. He was very impressive. He had one try, one try assist, 15 runs, 131 run meters, two of the two tackles, one turnover, one defender beating, two, yeah, two line breaks, and one offload. So, man. First of all, he had... Mostly every stat you could say within the game, with what you want within a winger, of course. I mean, man, 131 one meters, very impressive. And yeah, he did get a try. I think, I think that he got his try from an interception early on. Yeah, no, he. I think he got the first try. What am I on about? Yeah, he definitely got the first try. And his try assist was just good for the next person to talk about. Yeah, he was. He was very crucial within that Brumbies game, and yeah, he just. Man, the Brumbies were so good in that game. I mean, they get the Western Force. Yeah, scoreless. So, uh, yeah, fair play to him, and he was particularly one of the few players I was impressed with within this week. So, moving on to number twelve, I was up to Are uh, Simone from the Brumbies as well. You know, he did get one try, eleven runs, thirty run meters. He had ten out of eleven tackles, and he had one defender beater. So yeah, he definitely put in a shift, uh, particularly within his defensive stats. You know, he just shows that he's not just a one-dimensional player. You could say, you know, within is attacking, but man, yeah, he did get a try in the first half. It was a very good try, actually. You know, I bet that's the one where Pete Samu got, you know, his line break, and then you know, they eventually came on, and Tom Wright, you know, passed in, and he just ran in. But it was it was a well worked try, really. That's that's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, he definitely deserves to be within the side as well. So moving on to number thirteen, my MVP of the you know of this week's Super Rugby Dream Team. I've gone with. Peter among the Jensen from the Hurricanes. Overall, fantastic game. You know, he had one try, one try assist, six runs, 35 run meters. He had six out of seven tackles, two line breaks, and he had four defenders beat him. So, yeah, he's definitely all over the place for sure. You know, he was crucial to the Hurricanes in winning that match I mean, by a mile. His try assist to Wes Goosen was the first try. Great try, you know, a little offload there or I think mean, it was a line no sorry it was a line break that he got and then he passed it over but yeah he, that try assist was great and then his try in the second half as well he had like three I think it was like three defenders within that like we're just trying to get him into touch but man he held his own and just put the ball down and he did I think he had a bit injured after that and that's when he had to be subbed off but man one of the most impressive you know performances I've seen from him in a while because I've always said that he has you know the potential to you know be a future all black but man he's yeah, in the biggest stage, you could say, within this competition, you know, Crusaders away, that's the biggest game. And, man, yeah, he definitely proved he has the ability to, you know, be at the next level, you can say. So, we know to number 14. I've selected Sever Rees from the Crusaders. He's a, he's only the second Crusader I've selected within the side. I I, I could have decided between, you know, West Goosen or Sevu, but I went with Sevu purely on the basis that, you know, he did have one try, one try assist, 14 runs, 116 run meters, 
four to four tackles, three defenders beat him, four line breaks, and he had two offloads. So yeah, his stats were crazy within that game. But yeah, it, yeah, he was just all over the place, really. I mean, he really helped the Crusaders, you know, bounce back. You could say within that second half, and yeah, he did score a try there on, but just wasn't enough, really. Just wasn't enough. But, yeah. Anyway. Moving on to the last player at 15, I said to Jordy Barrett from the Hurricanes. Yeah, he was very impressive. You know, like I said, the Hurricanes did win in the, the last, you know, they held their own. And he's one of those players early on who really helped within, you know, getting some points on the board. He did have one try assist. He had eight runs. He had 34 run meters. He had two to four tackles, two defenders beat him, one line break, two, no, he kicked two conversions and, he, and five penalties. So, yeah, he was definitely one of the most crucial players from that game for by a mile. I mean, I think that's what is that together? Five. I mean he he had around nineteen points. Yeah, two conversions, five. Yeah, around nineteen points. That's that's crazy. So yeah, he definitely influenced that game by a mile. But yeah, other than that, uh, that's it with this super rugby dream team. Uh hope you guys enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.